Good morning, lovers. So lovely to be with you today. What a pleasure. We haven't got a sunny day in Sussex today. It's very gray. Looks like it might rain. Good morning. Yoga with Kerry. Hello. Thanks for sharing my post yesterday. Catherine, hi, honey. What time is it there? Eight, about 6.30 in the evening, I guess, in Australia, is it? Is that right? <laughs> Thumbs up. Hey, yoga, yoga with Kerry. I'm guessing that's Kerry. <laughs> Good morning. So I've, I've got Baldiol 1974. Good morning. What's your actual name? I'm trying. I'm doing a little, playing a little game with myself to see whose um, Instagram handles names I can actually remember. Good to see you, though. Good morning, Liz. Oh, so nice to have you live. Who else is joining on Facebook? So for those who are a little new, I'm doing Instagram. So hello up there at Instagram and hello down here at Facebook. Ellie's joined. Hi, Ellie. Good morning. Hey, Sana. Good morning. Morning, Liz. Good to have you all. Oh, lovely to be with you guys. Um, just wait for a couple more to join because I know there's some regulars that are coming. Hi, Nick. Good to see you. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Christina. Oh, how beautiful. Good morning. Uh, so nice to see you all. So, oh, Sana, I missed your comment from yesterday, did I? Sorry, it's a little bit hard to keep up with all the comments on Instagram, kind of scrolls, and you only get a little window to see them. So if it's a long comment, I can't, I can't catch them. Ah, it's Nat. Hello, Nat. I said, dry your hair and room air. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? No word of a lie. Um, I haven't touched my hair since yesterday morning. It was on top of my head until this morning. I literally just pulled it out of the band and this is what we get. So yeah, this is air dried hair. <laughs> uh, good to see you, Nat and Natalie. I'm wondering if you guys are friends. It looks like you might be. Izzy, morning, morning. Lindy, good morning. Rebecca, good morning. Oh, so gorgeous people you got me out of bed today um i'm not feeling great i'm gonna just like put it out there i'm not feeling amazing and thank god for makeup natalie i know you hear me <laughs> thank god for makeup um thank god for my meditation and uh thank god for my cat i have a lot to be grateful for this morning um yeah i'm feeling uh really not amazing and clearly okay enough to be here with you. And today I will be taking very, very, thank you for the hearts. Uh, I will be taking very, very, very good care of myself uh, and probably keeping my distance from the kids. Let's see what progresses, but I'm good. I'm good, I'm taking my vitamins. I'm always taking my vitamins. I'm always taking care of myself. Thank you for the big, the big arms. <laughs> yeah uh so good to have all of you um okay so today let me grab my cup of tea can't start without my cup of tea actually all right you lot i got out of bed i showered i dressed i've shown up for you now you be honest with me where are you right now be honest who's still in their pajamas in bed who's just waking up Thank you, Ellie. I fully receive your big hugs. Come on, own up. Feeling ropey physically. Yes, I am feeling a little bit ropey physically. Drinking lots of hot drinks though. I, um, yeah, I uh, had a couple hours in bed yesterday afternoon. Just I worked from bed, which is a pleasure that I get to do because I have my own business and I am a laptop business in many ways. So yesterday afternoon I could work from bed, but I guess most of us are doing that now anyway, right? Uh, Natalie's in a robe, coffee on, nice. 1 p.m. for Sana, so she's up and about. Marie-Pierre, congratulations, still in PJs. <laughs> nice. Nat's still in PJs, in lounge with tea. Ellie's in the lounge, done a workout for the first time 
since cocooning. I love that. Good for you. Sana returned back from the hospital, lying down in the bed in PJs. Well done, you. You deserve a good rest for the work that you're doing. Nick, I'm all dressed and shortly off to the supermarket before work calls. Very organized. Wow. Love this. Liz, totally in PJs. Lindsay's eating a breakfast. Liz, sending lots of love and healing vibes. Thank you. I received that and I'm, I know I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Izzy, I got up. I delivered the paper to the man down the road. I love how you do that. That's so lovely. I had breakfast. I got back into bed. Yeah, because you can. <laughs> I love it. Good. Well, I'm so glad that you're here receiving me right now. Um, I hope you've all bought pens and paper. Uh, oh, sorry, my name is Bal. Oh, Bal. Oh, so you were saying hi to Nat. Got it. Now I have to re remember. Bal, hi. <laughs> Nick, although I've done these calls in PJs, quite bloody right. Kerry saying in PJs, still enjoying calm before homeschooling. Mm hmm. Yep, I hear you. Uh, Rebecca, okay, honestly, I've been getting up, but today I'm on the laptop in bed. Two nights of not good sleep. And that's totally cool. I mean, to be honest, I kind of am expecting most of you, if you're in an England time zone, to still be in your pajamas. Why rush? Why rush, right? Like, be cozy. Yay, uh, Marie, I'm impressed by your dedication. That's okay, thank you. Thank you, I received that. Um, so you've all got pens, you've all got paper, yeah? You're gonna do some journaling this morning. I'm gonna ask you some questions. You're gonna write down your answers. So to start with, can you do a quick brain dump? Just tune in, super quick, top lining it, total honesty, no judgment, nothing to fix, just how you're feeling. What's going on for you? You know, like what's the top line noise actually? Let's even ignore that my question then about how you're feeling. I don't even want to guide this. This is just your brain dump. What's the top line chat, general noise, perhaps pressure what's the what's the vibration the movement in your head right now dump it down it could be feelings it could be thoughts it could be beliefs it could be worries it could be to-do lists it could be just names of people that are pissing you off right now <laughs> it could just be a scroll just as you know just Scroll. It could just be swear words because that's just where you're at right now. It could be pictures of rainbows and unicorns and love hearts because that's where you're at right now. It doesn't matter. Just what is the what's happening up here today? So write that down. Just notice that you can really see this burn, can't you, on my wrist from where the uh, hairdryer exploded on me yesterday, which could be perceived as an April Fool. It was April Fool's Day yesterday. Um, but I don't think any of my family members are that mean. <laughs> Okay, so you're just top lining it. What is the noise? Hmm. And I'm wondering if you even just feel better for fully acknowledging that, the, the noise. Does it feel a little bit better just to, because essentially what you're doing is you're loving yourself enough to really fully, honestly, without judgment, acknowledge yourself. It's an incredibly powerful act. It cannot be underestimated. Some of you will be very used to this process. Some of you may never have done it before. Some of you may have only just started doing this since we started these lives three weeks ago now. Um, and I wonder how you're noticing the difference. I wonder how it's feeling for you to be living daily in full acknowledgement of yourself, how you're feeling and what's true for you. I wonder if you're already noticing the difference. 
So next, I would like for you to just focus on, remember, remember self-love is about loving all your parts. Now that can be quite a big conversation um, because we could go into all the different archetypes and your, your shadow side and your light side. And, but for the, for the sake of today's conversation, when I'm talking about all your parts, I'm meaning your emotional self, your intellectual self, your physical self and your spiritual self. So those four main parts of you. So let's start with your emotions today. How are you feeling emotionally? Be super honest. Just checking in, full acknowledgement. How are you feeling emotionally today? Just write a few words. And don't forget with emotions, often we can be feeling emotions that really can totally contradict each other. Yeah, so we could be feeling really excited and really depleted at the same time, or, you know, excited and nervous at the same time. We can feel optimistic and scared at the same time. So just tuning in, just writing down how you feel, full acknowledgement. And maybe if there aren't even words for how you feel, if it doesn't feel right or good for you to, to write how you feel, maybe just take this moment to just be with you and tune in and just feel what you feel without having to put words to it because sometimes we just can't, right? Let's go open my window. Yeah. Okay. And so now I want you to check in with your intellectual self, your mind. I know you just did a brain dump, but just going a little bit deeper into your mind. How's it doing today? Where's your mind at today? Is it busy? Is it calm? Is it at peace? Is it struggling in some way? Is, does it feel under pressure? Is there any desperation or anxiety? So where's your mind at today? What's the, what's the predominant thought in your mind today? Predominant thought. Just write it down, no judgment, just fully acknowledging where you're at. Can you hear the birds outside? Okay, and now check in with your physical self, your body. Where are you at in your body today? How's your body feeling today? How are you relating to your body today? Are you, do you have a sense that maybe you're kind of pushing your body today? Do you have a sense that, and that's not necessarily, like we're not judging here, that's not necessarily bad. Um, just notice the energy behind it. Uh, I think, was it? Ellie, who was it? Ellie, I think, said you've already been up and done exercise this morning. You might have had to push your body a little bit inside that exercise. Or are you pushing yourself when you know you need something else? So what's going on with the body? How are you relating to it? How are you feeling within it? Hmm. What does it need? Really listen to it. You know, the body is the home of our feminine energy. Whether you're a man or a woman, your body is the home of your feminine energy. Your mind is the home of your masculine energy. Interesting note. 
something I love teaching about, love, love, love teaching masculine, feminine energy dynamics. It's so interesting and so exciting. And when we learn to, to play within the dance of the masculine and the feminine, it's a game changer. And now I want you to tune into your spiritual self, your soul. Maybe you have a sense that that's in your heart space. It doesn't really matter where you feel it, but um, just tune into the truth of you. The last few days we've been really tuning in with that part of you and really tuning in with your higher self, your best self, also known as your spiritual self, your true authentic nature. Very wise, very loving, totally has all the answers for you. So how are you relating with that part of you today? Do you feel super connected? Do you feel completely disconnected? Do you, I don't know, what is it for you? And now that you've checked in with all your four parts, just tune in and ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, where one is not at all and 10 is hell yeah, how much do you love yourself today? I've never asked you that question before, have I on these, on these lives? How much, and it occurred to me this morning, I said, I can't believe I've never asked them to gauge it. <laughs> Where are you at today? It's always, it's a sliding scale, it's always shifting. I'm really big about sharing my belief that self-love is a journey, it's a daily practice, it is daily work. It's not something that you go do a course, even that you come to one of my courses, and at the end you're like, yeah, I got this, I love myself, and I always will, sorted. It, it's kind of, you know, it's not like that. It's a, it is a daily, daily practice. It's something that I practice every day because uh, as I've shared with very many of you, I really believe that our humanness suffers something that I like to call transformational amnesia. So we do all this amazing work on ourselves and we get to a place of feeling really connected. We've cleared out a lot of like disempowering beliefs and sabotaging behaviors and we're really showing up in the world in a more empowered way definitely a more self-loving way and that doesn't go away because you know we have grown we have evolved and our humanness has this remarkable ability to just forget it's like we wake up sometimes and we forget everything we've learned everything that we've overcome everything that we've healed and we kind of have to remember, oh yeah, that's right. I'm a spiritual being first. Oh yeah, that's right. My mind is, is always trying to kind of think me through solutions where really my truth and my answers are, are in my heart and with my soul. And, you know, we, 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 we forget how powerful we are. We forget how connected we are to all that is. Um, and I call that transformational amnesia. Ellie saying, so true it is. Oh, Nick, wonderful sounds of nature. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now I'm going to close the window because now I'm getting cold. Um, yeah, we do. And, you know, it's really important when you're doing transformational work and healing work and, you know, when you're really committed to, you know, being a truth seeker, like wanting to live consciously, wanting to live as an evolved human and, you know, being your best self. It's so important to remember that that's something to intend on a daily basis. Yeah, on a daily basis. So Sana has already started the ball rolling. Oh, hi, Natasha. Good to have you join. Uh, Izzy, are there any good books on masculine and feminine energy? Well, honey, when we start Daring and Mighty Love next week, you're, you've got 12 modules from me on the subject, essentially. I mean, I know the modules touch in different areas, uh, but the masculine and feminine teachings will weave through every one of our modules. So we've got three to four months of learning on that subject coming up. In terms of are there any good books, I've got, I'm looking up at my library. It's a huge library. 
Um, yeah, there are some. There are some. I haven't found one yet that I'm really excited about. I, I did um, some of my first learnings around the subject actually came from Regina, and I can never pronounce her surname, Thomas Schauer. Tom Shower, um, and she's known as Mama Gina, and she wrote a book called Pussy, and that is actually excellent. Um, I love that book. Uh, how deep does it go into masculine feminine dynamics? Uh, it's so long ago that I read it, I can't exactly remember, but I know that it was the beginning. That book coincided with, with some of my most powerful learnings about masculine feminine dynamics, so there'll be something in there. Juliet's joined. Uh, Juliet, could you recommend a book? a really good book around masculine feminine energy dynamics i'm just looking on my bookshelf there and you are a goddess it's all right yeah um it's good i'm not saying it's not a good book it's a great book but is it about that like, i'm trying to remember uh leave it with me honey i'll have a think uh so sana has already jumped in with she's a six out of ten in terms of her self-love so who would like to share where are you at it's an ever-changing thing now that you've just you've done that check-in with mind emotions body spirit where are you on that spectrum of self-love where one's not very much being pretty mean to myself at the moment 10 is like yeah i freaking love myself right now i am awesome <laughs> um seven for natalie awesome ellie to eight a good day she says yeah carrie seven Nice, nice, uh, Juliet. Yeah, Juliet is also agreeing. Mama Gina's work. She says she loves the book Pussy. Yeah, totally. It is a very good book. Marie Pierre Four. Okay, okay. Good honesty, people. What else? Who else is going to share? Bali Four. Nice, good, nice honesty. Nice honesty. I love this. I mean, at times, you know, where there's, you know, let's be honest. There's a lot of fear and worry and uncertainty going around and that can really impact our feeling of self-love because often our brain our mind has just gone you know it's it's future projecting it's freaking out and that doesn't have us feel particularly self-loving because what we're thinking is making us feel bad right so uh natalie's saying it's getting higher the more i do these calls with you katie beautiful i'm so glad liz eight nice rebecca seven mandy four lindy five to six beautiful i fully fully honor all of you with exactly where you're at it's okay it's an ever-changing piece and what i've also come to know is even when we're feeling great, when our self-love is really rating high, that's not the time to stop doing the work because it is an ever-changing feast. And I know I've got on this call plenty of women who've worked with me <clears throat> and you know <laughs> that it's so important to never stop the work, to never have your daily practice. Just because you feel good doesn't mean you stop your daily meditation doesn't mean you stop checking in with yourself, right? It's so important. It's a daily practice. Uh, Sana, in the morning, it was maybe a zero. But after the emotional dumping, it got to six to seven out of ten. Beautiful. Because you fully acknowledged yourself, Sana, and that is so self-loving. We really feel like we're filling up when we're acknowledging how we are and, and where we're at. Ellie, I felt so much better today having moved my body and loved myself enough to do it. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's great, really great. Uh, Sophie, hi, Katie, love these mornings. Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah, Natalie loves that, Sana. Yeah, I do too, it's really beautiful. And that just shows just within a day how, how our self-love shifts and how our relationship to ourselves shifts and how our relationship to ourselves really incre improves and feels better when we just hang out with ourselves for a little bit and just check in it doesn't take much uh lindsay i'm a nine today i'm so thankful to my mind and body for getting me through this virus and coming out the other side 
ah, oh, you've been through it and you come out the other side. Well done. You're not the only one. Natalie has just come out the other side. She's over on Instagram. I'm pointing because Instagram's up there. Um, well done. Congratulations. I hope you're feeling okay. Yeah. Yeah. Our body, our body knows, doesn't it? Our body knows how to heal. It's very wise. It's very, very wise. We really do have to. And this is the conversation I was having with myself this morning. It's like, if I'm not feeling amazing. Um, I just have to trust my body knows what to do. And right now my body is calling me to rest and that's okay. It still called me to come and hang out with you guys. And I feel better for it. Like that's the other thing. I mean, I am going to honor how I feel today and I'm definitely going to have a very easy day. Um, and it felt so good to have a shower, put on, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm wearing my, my power t-shirt today. <laughs> um, I put this on, I was like, yeah, I got this. I feel good. And I'm not, it's like, I'm again, this is that theme. Can I be both? You know, on one hand, I'm feeling powerful because I've, I've got up and I've showered and put on my power t-shirt, I put on my makeup and I instantly feel lifted and that's great. And I still feel not amazing you know i still know my body is calling for rest today and i will give it that i'll give it that um love natalie strong woman yeah she is a strong woman uh juliet i'm reading destin garrick the evolved masculine from a man's perspective it's excellent oh i love that and you juliet have actually just reminded me um, Destin Garrick, The Evolved Masculine. I'm going to check that out. Yeah, you've reminded me of another excellent book, which was written by a man. I'm so glad you said that. And it is. And we were talking about it the day, Juliet. Um, oh, uh, 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 the... <sighs> it's not on my shelf because it's in the bedroom. Um, what's it called? Give me a second. Juliet, help me, help me. What's the book that I was talking about at the event we ran the other day? Mm, written by a man. For men, to help men understand women. Ooh, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. Um, Sophie's saying, my self-love is rubbish today. And this call, these calls are so brilliant to make me aware and care. Okay, yeah. So stop whipping yourself. Yeah. Just notice that you are. It's not something to judge, right? That's It's just a noticing. I, I'm doing a bit of this. Notice and choose something more self-loving. That's it. Just in the moment you get to choose. You go, oh, God, I've been doing that thing or I've been really mean to myself. So I'm just going to stop that. I'm going to stop harming myself and I'm going to choose a loving thought instead. I'm going to choose a loving behavior. I'm going to choose a way to take care of myself in the moment. That's why it's daily practice. Julia, I'm still in bed honoring my body today. Yeah, that will be me, I think, today too, honey. Um, I love that. Lindsay, Natalie, thank you. Yeah, Liz, the way of the superior man. Ooh, ooh. And then Juliet said, David Data. Yeah, see, I don't have to do all the thinking. You're there for me. You got my back, ladies. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, because I think I recommended that to you, didn't I, Liz? Such a good book, The Way of the Superior Man. And while I think essentially it's written for men to understand their own masculine energy and to understand how to work with the feminine energy, um, so it really is about the masculine man working with a woman so it's like a, a man and woman dynamic rather than the inner masculine feminine dynamic within all of us within all men and women but the way he describes it oh my goodness it's just it's so it's just on the money and for a woman um for me when i read it it really helped me to understand my feminine energy particularly our emotions and how just yeah, I know it's a whole other teaching, but it's really bloody good. So, yeah, if you want to know more about Masculine and Feminine, that's a good book. Uh, you're reading it at the moment, Liz. Good. Yeah, it's really good. I've read it like three times. It's James, I think, has read it twice. Uh, yeah, great, 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 great. It's really good. If you want to, Nick, if you want to understand women, read this book. It's really good. <laughs> 
the way of the superior man. Uh, Sophie, such a huge relief. Lindsay and Lindy are feeling much better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So where are we at with time? Okay, halfway in. Lots of emojis coming up. It's really funny on Facebook. There's emojis coming up, but some of them are like angry faces and some of them are crying. And I'm just wondering, is that is that how you're feeling or are you meaning to press hearts and send love? It's okay, whatever it is. Um, and I love seeing, by the way, on Instagram, on Facebook, if you do send me hearts and it's just feedback because otherwise I'm just talking to the screen, right? I mean, I, I've got really used to it. Uh, Kerry has to log off. Thanks for your kindness and inspiration. You're welcome, Kerry. We're going to dive into a quick meditation now. Um, if you feel like catching that later, you can just dial in halfway through the recording. Thank you for the heart. See, it makes me feel received. It's really lovely because otherwise I really am just talking to a camera. So when I'm seeing hearts and so, so don't hold back. It's, um, it's not, um, for my ego. It's just so that I kind of know that you're there. If that makes sense. And without you having to even type anything, I know that, um, I'm hitting home with something. So if you hear me say something that you like and it resonates, uh, then, send me something then i'll be like yeah cool okay they're getting me we're vibing we're having a communication there we go yay um all right so uh let's what should we do now let's close our eyes shall we belly i'm loving this katie just feeling like i'm breathing after a long time oh that's so nice what a lovely feeling is it like an exhale do you remember that movie that came out in something like 1994, I'm seeming to remember, 94, 95, and I'm pretty sure it was called Exhale. I think it had Whitney Houston in it, I think, and there was a song called Exhale. Um, and it, uh, yeah, it's great. Like, it's just like, oh, I've arrived. I'm home. It's all okay. So maybe that's what these calls are for you now. That's great. I love that. Um, Juliet's also recommending Dear Lover, the partner book of The Way of the Superior Man, also by him. Yeah, you've mentioned that to me before, Juliet, and I've not read that one yet. Dear Lover. Okay. And Sammy's joined. Hi, darling. Good to see you. Um, all right. So now we've done that bit of journaling. <clears throat> How about we dive into a little meditation and we'll bring the journaling that you just did into the meditation. Okay, so <clears throat> let me have a sip of tea while you all just get comfortable. Close your eyes. <sighs> Start to feel yourselves in your body. You're just breathing. And let's do the straw breath. There's a couple of newbies on here who might not know what that is, so don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through it. So the straw breath, you're going to imagine that you have a straw running from your perineum, your root chakra, in a straight line all the way up through the center line of your body and shooting out the roof of your head. A bit like, imagining there's like a, a, like a dolphin's blowhole here, and the straw's gonna come out the top of your head. So you've got this one straw all the way through the center line of your body. And essentially you're going to be breathing just very slowly up through that straw, sucking the air up from the perineum, from the root chakra, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. You're gonna hold the breath in your head for as long as you can bear it and really feel the pressure building in your head. And then when you can't stand the pressure any longer, you're gonna blow the air directly out through that blowhole through the top of your head. Ideally with a lot of force, a lot of energy, a lot of intention, and maybe even with a noise, like really let go. And we're gonna imagine, I want you to, this is kind of weird, but I find it quite powerful. So you did a brain dump just now. All that noise and chatter that is perhaps weighing you down, making you feel heavy, having you feel kind of trapped in your head. I invite you to, Imagine that you're using the straw to suck up all of all the letters on the page or the scribble on the page, all of that noise and chatter and clutter and heaviness. So with your breath, just imagine that you're sucking it all off the page, 
bringing it up through the straw very slowly up through your body up 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 into your head and you're going to hold it hold it hold it for as long as you possibly can really feel the pressure and the energy of all those words and thoughts and feelings that you've sucked up and when you can't hold it any longer blow it forcefully with noise out the roof of your head and know that as it's going up into the universe it's being dissolved and do it again so just sucking up all of that heaviness and chatter the worries the anxieties the discomforts the to-do list suck it up suck it up suck it up suck it up hold it hold it hold it in your head as long as you possibly can and when you can't bear it any longer blow it out the roof of your head and do it again really is just slowly breathing up with your breath pulling up all of those words perhaps it's names of people that have been annoying you conversations you wish you could have or wish you could have again do better <laughs> maybe it's to-do lists maybe it's anxieties just suck it all up all of the tension and the worry suck it up into your head and feel the pressure of it allow the pressure to build dial up all of those emotions all of that energy dial it right up until you can't hold it any longer and then with real intention forcefully blow it out the top of your head i'm going to let you do that again in your own time now so just suck it up in your own time breathe it up breathe it up breathe it up when you're ready you know what to do Hmm, and now just breathe. It might feel nice to do a big sigh, a big ah. <sighs> I like doing that because I like the noise and how it vibrates against my heart. Hmm, you might want to do it. Just put your hand on your heart. Don't worry if anyone's listening. Hmm, it feels so good to feel the heart vibrating. For me, I just feel like I'm landing and I'm home. I'm here. And you've just released all of that energy. You don't need it. I wonder if you can feel that you feel a little lighter. Quite often when I do that breathing practice, it brings tears to my eyes. Sometimes it has tears streaming down my face, just with the utter relief. I just let it go. I don't need that in me. I don't need that noise. I can just let it go. And now that you're feeling a little bit lighter, let's just check in with all parts of you again. We're just going to move through fairly swiftly because you already did the journaling work. So starting with how you're feeling emotionally. Just notice maybe that's already shifted from how you felt when you came on the call half an hour ago. And if there's any feelings there that feel less than self-loving, if there's feelings there that you know you've been blocking because you just don't want to face them but you know that through blocking them through pushing them down through ignoring them is not loving yourself it's not acknowledging the fullness and the full range of your emotions and who you are i wonder if you know that there's some emotion there that really is looking to be seen and heard And as I say that, I'm feeling so much compassion for those, those emotions, those parts of you. They're so real. I wonder if today it would feel good for you to set the intention to have compassion for those emotions that are really looking to be seen and heard by you, to be looking to be fully acknowledged by you and just know more to pushing them down to telling them they're bad and wrong 
to ignoring them, turning your back on them and judging them. If it feels good for you, I invite you to compassionately give your attention to those tougher feelings. And perhaps set the intention to create some time today or as soon as possible in the near future where you can just hang out with those more raw emotions. Maybe do some journaling, maybe some crying, maybe you need to write an angry letter and then burn it. Maybe you need to write uh, the story of where it all came from and then get out a baseball bat and smash that story to pieces and burn the tatters of paper that are left. I know there's some of you on this call here now who've done that work with me and know how powerful it is. <sighs> Just set the intention to love your emotional self today. So brave. And now I invite you to set the intention to love your intellect. So just noticing what's been going on in your mind. You already did some work earlier in your journal. What's been the predominant thinking? What, are the, what have been the predominant beliefs? And just paying attention to those thoughts and beliefs that are actually self-harming you. They're not helping you, they're not loving you. And set the intention now to choose thoughts today that are going to support you, that are going to love you. What do you need to believe today or what do you need to be telling yourself and reminding yourself today to feel like you're in a way more compassionate and self-loving relationship with you. Maybe it's an affirmation you'd like to bring into your day today. I'm enough. I'm strong. I love my vulnerability. I choose to feel good today. I choose to notice that when a mean thought arises, I'm going to love the mean thought and choose a thought that loves me instead. What do you know that you need? And choose that now. Set the intention. <clears throat> Remembering that our thoughts <clears throat> dictate how we feel. We feel our thinking. And whether you believe me or not, you do have charge over what you think. You can be in control of that. Hmm. And now just tuning into your physical self, remembering what you wrote in your journal earlier, what does your body need today? How are you going to lovingly commit to your physical self today? How will you support yourself today? It might be through movement. You might need to do some real proper cardio. Maybe you just need to take a nap. Maybe you need to go back to bed after this call. What do you need? Some gentle exercise, some heart pumping exercise, good food. A lay in the bath, good salt scrub. You know, we've been talking a lot about creating a retreat at home. What does your body need today? I'm definitely having a salt bath today with Netflix. <laughs> Uh, I designed my bathroom recently and I put an, a, uh, an iPad, a place for an iPad screen at the end of the bath. It's my idea of heaven. Hmm.
So now that you've lovingly committed to how you're going to take care of your body today, you've listened to what it needs. Now just take a moment to just sit and be still in the presence of your beautiful spiritual self, that wise, intuitive inner wisdom. Mm. And what does your spirit have to share with you today? What does it have to share with you today? Mm. What does your spirit need you to know? Mm. That wise voice inside has a message for you. Just open yourself up to receive it. And breathe that in. Hmm. Beautiful. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Just gently, maybe have a stretch. Feel your feet on the ground. Feel grounded. Feel how good it feels to have spent some special time with you. Hmm. How'd you feel? I got out my cards, some new cards. I'm wondering, should we do a really super quick, like, like the speediest, speediest of readings before we sign off? Would that be fun? So just allow yourself while I'm shuffling the cards just to sit in the resonance of that meditation, the resonance of that experience of just spending time with yourself. Such a beautiful thing to do. Mm. Natalie is like, yeah, let's do a card. Yeah. Who doesn't love a card, right? So this is the most beautiful pack of cards. It's my wild Kuan Yin Oracle cards. Okay. Beautiful imagery in these cards. I mean, these images, I can't show them to you now. There's too many, but they're so beautiful. Yeah. Ooh, what are the cards? So the other day, we the cards we did were uh, my Archangel Oracle cards. So we did some angel cards the other day. Thank you for the heart. See, I'm feeling it. You're receiving me. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and today we've got Wild Kuan Yin. And these are just stunning. So let's just pull a card. There's lots of different levels of readings in the book. Um, and they're pretty long. We don't have time for that today. But maybe tomorrow. I'm feeling better, by the way, for doing this call. It's really nice. Thank you. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sending your energy to the cards, people. Sending your energy. I'm feeling the hearts that you're all sending. Thank you. Okay. I love it. Thank you. I love seeing the stream of hearts. So it makes me happy. Thank you. I know you're there. All right, here we go. Oh, can you see what I'm doing on Facebook? You can't. I'm just sort of fanning them out and then I'm choosing one. Today's card is called Blessing to Begin. Oh, that's nice. I'm not sure if I've ever had that card before. So Facebook, that's what the image is. Obviously, you'll be seeing it in reverse, I think. Instagram, can you see that? Such beautiful artwork on these cards. Blessing to Begin. Let's have a quick look. All right. Accepting my blessings will amplify the results of your efforts. Your success will bring happiness to more people than you realize, and your desires and mine are in perfect accord. You have what it takes within you to bring a precious and sacred idea to life, 
I'd like to help you push off from the earth, giving some lift for those first few steps to set your manifestation in motion. Sustaining the momentum takes less energy than getting it started. It's important to me that this impulse in you comes to life, for I was the one who planted the desire in your heart in the first place. Let me gift you with ignition and energy for the beginning. You have my blessing to begin. And the guidance, I'm going to carry on. Uh, hold on, people are chatting. Ellie saying, yeah. Belly, ooh, what's the cut? Yeah, Marie Pierre, I have the Archangel ones, been doing it for the past 10 years. Yay. Sharla, feel wonderful and lots of love to you. Lots of more love to you, Sharla. Thank you for joining. Rebecca, thank you, Katie. So powerful. I had a good cry and know exactly what I need today. I connected back to my higher self. I'm going to have a lovely salt bath too. Yeah, yeah. You and me both, sister. Sophie, me too. So, so much better, Katie. Thank you. I'm so glad. And thank you for the stream of hearts. See, this feels so good. I feel really received. I feel like we're in conversation. That's so lovely. Okay, so the guidance. Something wonderful is beginning in your world. When there are new opportunities coming your way, act on them. Say yes. The Divine Mother has sent those to you so that you may find your way and ultimately help not only yourself but others too through your life journey. Do not feel guilty or unworthy for any assistance, help or free pass that you receive at this time. The Divine is moving you forward with loving purpose. Whatever stage you're at in the manifestation of your dreams, be it the earliest glimmer of a vision or one that you've dedicated decades of your life towards, a gift of the Divine Mother is bestowed upon you. Now, her red poppy of success. She has guided you and shall continue to do so, offering protection whenever needed, whilst allowing you room to spread your wings and empower yourself by taking responsibility for your efforts. If you stumble into arduous circumstances, ask for help and trust also that whatever is before you, you can handle it. And then in a reading, if you're asking about being ready to start something, be that a project or even a new relationship, an expansion in your family or a new training program, this is your affirmation and validation from higher guidance. Whatever moves your heart deserves your attention. If you're struggling to see something through, you may be wondering if that's a sign that you should give up on the dream, that it's time to let it go and do something else. Remember why you started. Perhaps we consider giving up at least for now. You can detach from the form of the original project if you wish, allowing for the universe to adjust the details. But if your heart still beats for the essence, for the initial purpose, honor that. Lots of hearts happening. If you've been procrastinating, take a step towards commitment. If you've been thinking about it, do it. The assurance and blessing of the Divine Mother empowers your soul to take even the most apparently impossible or intimidating of prospects and turn them into accomplishments whilst you're growing in self-confidence and self-mastery. So believe in yourself. The Divine Mother does. I love it. I love it. I love it. Lindy, thank you, Katie. Such a lovely way to start the day. Have a beautiful day of your own self-love. I will. Mandy says, yippee. Yeah, it's a bloody good card, that one, for all of us. I mean, that's kind of, that's really, well, I can't speak for all of you. That's just such a beautiful card, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that stunning? <sighs> Lots of hearts. What a pleasure it's been to spend time with you all today. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for getting me out of bed. Thank you for having me put on my, my power T-shirt. <laughs> that was beautiful, the reading and the card. You're so welcome, Bali. Ellie said, oh, as you would say, juicy. Yeah, it was juicy, wasn't it? Natalie, that was so powerful. Could you please screen grab the first explanation? Yeah, I will. I'll screen grab it and post it somewhere I'll, I'll send it to you individually or something um rebecca saying i love that juicy natalie yes thank you marie pierre thank you everybody right 
so beautiful to hang out with you as always uh let's do this again tomorrow morning and uh as you know over the weekend i won't be running this so it's just monday to friday i can see you've started inviting friends thank you and please keep inviting your friends like let's let's bring more people to these sessions imagine if everybody started their day feeling like this really like properly connected so if you're going to share this please tell people why you're sharing it like what you're getting out of it they don't know who i am i'm some random woman in sussex <laughs> you know i'm not some internet sensation that they've heard of before so please if this is really powerful for you if it's working for you please share it and tell your friends why you're sharing it and uh, and i would love to hang out with you and your friends uh tomorrow and next week we'll keep going Bali, what a lovely way to start the morning katie i'm feeling much better music to my ears i'm so glad to hear that thank you for joining natalie hope you're feeling better soon katie i already am i genuinely thank you i'm going to take it easy today because i know my body feels like a rest and i know i have a big week next week um so yeah i will thank you thank you all Mwah. Love you. Have a gorgeous day. See you later. Bye.